Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we're gonna make the internet sensation that everyone's making your favorite coffee store's egg bite hack here, and we are gonna give it a whirl. I have already pre-filled here the muffin pan. I put a little fresh chopped spinach that was cooked, some bacon, got a little over uh, zealous with the cheese there, but we are gonna make the eggs. I've got eight eggs here in the blender and I'm gonna add about two thirds of a cup of cottage cheese. I think that's their secret ingredient is the cottage cheese. But we've made all kinds of cool things on here with whipped cottage cheese and it is delicious. And I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. Now I like the Lowry seasoned salt and pepper with my eggs, so I'm gonna use the seasoned salt and pepper, but you use whatever you like. But I'm gonna use the salt and pepper there and I'm gonna give it a whirl. So stand by. Okay, that looks nice and blended. So I'm gonna take it off here. This lid. Still getting used to my new blender. We're gonna put the eggs in here so I can mix some cheese in it. Of course, I picked a dish that has a pour spout to try and make this not a total mess. So I'm gonna move the blender here. Out of the way. And to our egg mi mixture here, I have a bowl here of shredded Gruyere, and I'm gonna just add a, a couple handfuls because eggs and cheese are yummy together. Mix it all together here. And then, like I said, we've prepped our muffin tin and you put in there whatever you like. You want veggie, sausage, whatever you like in your eggs. You could use ham, you can use mushrooms, Whatever you like, go for it. But I like spinach and bacon, so and that's what I had. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in, fill them up about not quite to the top because they will bubble up a little. And then when I put these in the oven, we are going to put, I have a sheet pan in there underneath where I'm gonna put this on the next rack up on the bottom rack sheet pan and you want to pour some hot water on that sheet pan before you go to cook these that'll give these that custardy texture to have the extra steam in the oven so that is a secret oh my gosh these are going to be so yummy and then you have these ready to go i'm going to bake these for probably 25 to 30 minutes and once they're done oh look at that we almost made it um they will puff up and be golden brown and make sure that they're not jiggly in the middle and you're good to go. You can put them in the freezer, you can put them in the fridge, you can put them in the lunchbox and they are ready to go. Egg bites, pure protein, yummy with everything you like in them. So thanks for watching. You know, we make yummy things here at Hostess Coach, trying to give you tips and tricks to save time and make yummy things.